I've been climbing for 20 years right now. It's been always my passion and it even became my job. I was always on the road. I was always busy with my own objectives. Traveling around the world, meeting with people and climbing, always in my own bubble. When I realized that there was something missing in my life. And I saw things in the world going on that I wanted to understand. I wanted to understand society a little bit more. I've studied social work. But I kind of left that aside when I became a professional climber. And that's why, after some research, I decided to visit Escalando Fronteras, a non-profit organization from Monterrey that uses climbing as a way to improve the lives of people who are dealing with poverty, drugs, or violence. For the last eight years, they have been taking out these kids to the mountains of La Huesteca to climb on rock, to hang out and have fun. My name is Siebe van Hey. I'm a Belgian big wall climber. And this is the story of how I came to face a wall I wasn't ready for. In a first trip to Mexico, I met Nadia and Alex, the directors of Escalando Fronteras. We agreed the best way I could be of any help was by spreading the word about their work, so they could raise funds and reach more kids. So this was the plan. I could come back to Monterrey, find some cool big wall to go climb with some of the guys of Escalando Fronteras and try to make a documentary out of it. This is what I wanted to offer these guys. Just an experience. An experience that I never had. An experience that they can learn from. So what could be better than just a really cool, intense big wall experience? <laughs> Me llamo Asael Ávila Vázquez, me dicen Piwi. Trabajo como aluminero, vidriero, junto con mi papá. En realidad no me gusta tanto mi trabajo, pero lo hago porque me deja tiempo para hacer las cosas que, que me gustan, que me apasionan, como ir al cerro a escalar. Soy parte del programa de Escalando Fronteras desde hace seis años, ya casi siete. Buenos días. Les voy a presentar a unos amigos, vienen a hacer un proyecto, a grabar, quieren hacer una película sobre Escalando Fronteras y hablar sobre Choco también, contar su historia y va a subir un multilargo. So why has Escalando Fronteras decided on Choco and Piwi? Well, Choco they chose because he is one of their better climbers and he was really excited about climbing a multipitch. Alex from Escalando Fronteras, he said like, this is the guy. He can really benefit from an experience like this. Piwi is 28. He is one of the first of Escalando Fronteras and he is working now. And actually, by just the look of him, when we saw him like the first time, Piwi is really like a core climber. You know, he, he just loves being on his own in the mountains. Y la idea es de dormir en la pared. Vamos a hacer en, en diferentes días en la pared. Entonces vamos a Vivir en la pared, comer y todo. Siete, ocho, cuatro, cinco. Oye, estos dos, ¿cómo te llaman? Queríamos ver si la escalada 
funcionaba o no funcionaba ¿no? Para, para empujar como unos motores de cambio. Vamos a escalar todos los domingos, tenemos campamentos de vez en cuando, también tenemos muchos juegos, actividades recreativas. Y en Colonia, en la comunidad, en Lomas Modelo, tenemos mucho trabajo con madres de familia. ¿Qué quieres, escalar o jugar fútbol? Lo pensó toda una semana y no, que sí voy a ir a escalar. Ya hasta el último que dijo, estaba en la medianoche. Mamá, le dijo, ¿qué? Ya sé qué quiero hacer. ¿Qué quiere hacer? Yo quiero hacer el multilar. ¿No? Perfecto. Y ahora ahí estábamos, y ahora ahí va. estábamos a las 4 de la mañana platicando de un multilargo, yo durmiendo y él platicando. <risa> Yo soy Angélica Hernández Espino, tengo 38 años, tengo cuatro hijos, pues ahorita actualmente trabajo, soy trabajadora doméstica. Mi choco empezó a trabajar. Hace cinco meses, entonces él dijo, no, pues como yo no estoy estudiando, lo metí a trabajar, dice, para yo comprar mis cosas. Dice, ya te ayudo con mis hermanos. Le digo, oh, sí, está bien, entonces. Hola, yo me llamo Luis David Dionisio Hernández. Tengo 16 años. Me dicen Choco. Cuando me dijiste que quería mi talla de zapatos, de ropa, de, de chamarra, ahí fue en donde me emocioné, dije, oh, va a venir un escalador profesional. Y es ahí donde, donde le dije a toda mi familia, a mi mamá, a mis amigos, a mis primos, a todos y todos me felicitaron, me dijeron que era una buena oportunidad para hacer el sueño que yo quería. ¿Cómo os sentáis? ¿Energía o no? Energía. Bueno, perfecto. Desde el principio yo siempre le digo, nomás te digo, si vas a empezar este proyecto, termínalo. Termínalo, que te va a doler esto, me va a doler el otro, voy a sacrificar esto, voy a sacrificar el otro, no me interesa. Let's go. En español, mijo. Vamos. Vamos a No voy a hablar en inglés porque si no me vas a llamar gringo otra vez. Gringo. ¿Quién agarra? And on our first day's climbing, slowly we got to know Choco a little bit. He's really quiet. He's an introverted guy. He doesn't say so much. Vamos a escalar con tus nuevas cintas o no? Sí, sí, no? Our first contact with the rock was some kind of blind date, an exploration of each other. Choco had been climbing with Escalando Fronteras for several years, but for a big wall attempt we would need to know exactly where we were standing. Could Choco handle a fall? Was he leading? Uh, did he feel comfortable falling? We had to check it all. Muy bien, el equipo! ¿Qué tal, Pibi? Ya para aquí para abajo va. ¿Eh? Ya para abajo. No. No. Para arriba. Nerviosa. <laughs> Todavía no, no fuimos hasta arriba. <laughs> I pushed Pee Wee already a little bit to climb first to lead the next pitch. And yeah, it was already a very long day for those guys. Ah, no encuentro nada. Venga, pruébalo, prueba, inténtalo. Me enredó un poquito la cuerda, aquí. <risa> yo tengo mucho ganas de seguir un largo. No, o dos. No. ¿Tú? No, ya no. ¿En yo, yo tampoco? Pero, no. pero en yo-yo, ¿eh? ¿Cómo has hecho ahora? No. ¿Qué te, ¿Por qué no quieres seguir? No, ya. ¿Eh? ¿Eh? Me las gatas? Miedo. ¿Miedo? No, me dio miedo. Oye, también de esperar... Esperar es duro, dices. While climbing with Choco and Peewee, I noticed that Choco was actually uh, this quiet and introverted guy, but uh, I couldn't really feel his motivation. 
and maybe I had to give it some more time, but introvert or extrovert, normally like motivation for a project like this, you kind of show. So I felt that he was kind of holding back and I, I started to really worry a little bit. Choco usually works in construction work with his father. So the following week he had taken off from work to be more involved in this project. We prepared the big wall, so we were like, okay, what do we need for the big wall? We thought about what kind of gear and food we would need. After a rest day, we went out again. This time for a single pitch and with the hope it would be more fun for him. Here I set him the goal. It would be great if he would be able to lead some pitches. But he refused. A few times he really refused to lead. And it seemed that he was a bit scared of leading. In the afternoon, Pee Wee arrived as well. We decided it would be good to do some fall training. This was their very first time they did this kind of exercise. They were really, really scared actually. Choco, less than Peewee, Peewee was really scared for it, but he did a good job in training to fall and dealing with the exposure. But also here, Choco was refusing a little bit. It was really hard for me to find the balance between pushing someone to go out of his comfort zone and at the same time giving good support, not putting too much pressure. At that point, I was experiencing my own fears. Things were going differently than I had expected. I was having trouble trying to communicate with Choco. It was like a wall I didn't have the tools to deal with. I decided to open up to Nadia, who knew Choco a lot better. I was like, I push him to do something he doesn't even want to do. Es así. Choco es introvertido. Choco es una persona super super introvertida. Eh, utiliza eso, ¿no? Como la coraza, el caparazón, la introversión como un mecanismo de defensa me, desde mi lectura, me parece a mí. No muestro interés en esto y entonces si no se logra, si no hay éxito en esto, no siento la gran decepción. Sí. Entonces, como romper esta defensa, no sé, quizás la confianza. Crear ambientes de confianza. Mm. Y a lo mejor es romper un poquito con la, con la plática de escalada, con la plática de técnica y hablar de, de cosas ¿no? más mundanas, más humanas, cosas mm. que lo hagan reír, que lo hagan bajar la guardia. Bélgica. Ándale, Bélgica. Ándale. Si pudieran volver a nacer y les dijeran en qué país quieres nacer, ¿cuál escogerían? Ah, yo en ¿Yo? Estados Unidos. En Hollywood. No. Para pa volverme actor. Ya no, soy, pero no. para volverme otra vez. Ya eres un poco actor, ¿verdad? Una. Dos. Next day we went out with Choco and we did our very first multi pitch. We chose a relatively easy multi pitch on Pico Independencia. Choco was always following, he never let, which was a good thing to gain some confidence. And in the beginning I saw him really stressed and a little bit scared, but then slowly he relaxed. 
he's a strong climber actually. He he really knows his body well. At that point, I was getting really happy. I'm like, yes, this is the effect we want. You know, like he's like pushing his limits and he's doing his best. It was actually really beautiful to see. Everything seemed in place for the big day. And then on Saturday we gathered at 8 in the morning. Really soon I saw there was something wrong. Oh, I was really worried and I was like, oh no, this is like the big project of two days and he's, he doesn't seem motivated. Like, how, how will I be able to motivate him? Nervios de... de subir y dormir ahí. When we only just arrived at the base of the wall, Choco got overwhelmed with emotions. He was scared, he was so scared of that project. He called his mom. They decided that he would go to the middle of the wall where we would camp. That would be the goal. So on we went, with Pee Wee leading the first pitch. Choco follows and after only 5 meters, in the easy part of it, it became too much for him. He completely blocked and he was like, I just don't want to anymore, I just cannot do this. <laughs> At that point I was like, wow, what are we gonna do? We decided to take a break, to let Choco alone for a while. And I needed to think too. I needed to take a distance and put things into perspective. Mexico is a country en donde las personas tienen más oportunidades dependiendo si tienes la piel del color blanco o la piel de un tono más oscuro. Yo soy Alejandro Medina Fuentes, director de Escalando Fronteras. Cortinas calentitas de 13 pesos, además de con cocido 16 pesos el litro. La colonia en Lomas Modelo Norte está poblada por mexicanos, mayormente indígenas, que vinieron de otros estados en búsqueda de mejores condiciones de vida. 
y las personas que vienen a escalar en Escalando Fronteras son sus nietos o sus bisnietos. Teníamos una vecina de allá enfrente, vivía esta vecina que no salía de su casa, no salía. ¿Por qué? Porque le, le dábamos miedo. Desde esa manera este, empezamos a no hablar o tomí, tratar de hablar bien el español porque toda la gente era el bullying, le hacían bullying a los niños. Iban a la escuela y le decían indios y no era eso, sino eran con maldiciones. Dijiste que estabas triste y que te sentías como frustrado. ¿Y por qué te sentías triste? Porque no, no llegué a donde le dije a mi mamá que iba a llegar, que si podía llegarlo. Y pues, pues me sentí decepcionada por mí también, que por no hacerla, no intentarlo y, y así. ¿Qué, ¿Qué estaba pasando por tu mente ahí en ese momento? ¿Qué pasó? No, por mi mente pasó pues que, que se me iban a caer las piedras y todo eso. Se me iba a caer las piedras y pues tenía mucho miedo y por eso no la pude hacer. ¿Y qué quieres hacer ahora? ¿Cómo terminamos este proyecto? Lo que quiero hacer es intentarlo de nuevo. After four days of rest, Choco seemed ready to give another try on our route. Reinas y Reyes. Bueno, pues al final este, decidimos venir. Uh, bueno, decidí venir yo, lo hablé con Choco, creo que a él le va a dar un poquito más de confianza y pues además saber que en un caso en que el segundo día o lo que sea tenga dudas y no quiera llegar hasta arriba, podemos bajarnos nosotros dos. Eso era, muy bien Pibi, venga eh. Pee Wee climbed the first difficult pitch up to the anchor and then it was Choco's turn to climb. He went more or less up to the same point where again he started panicking. This is the moment where suddenly he took out a paper. He was on a ledge and he took out a paper. I was looking like, what's that? And Alex told me he was reading a letter from his mom. I tried to help him by climbing just below him, on his side. But still, the feeling of being unsafe was just too big. At this point, I gave him the Jumars. And he Jumared up very solidly. It seemed that it was working. You know, like, he wasn't really motivated to climb, but he wanted to really reach the middle of the wall. Una pizza. Una pizza ya no. Tenemos que subir un poquito más. Aunque sea subiendo la mitad, pero yo mareando que sea. We reached the ledge, a beautiful ledge on the arete where we pitched a camp and a poor ledge. From streets to walls. Tengo estas pequeñas bolsas de chile también aquí. ¿Queréis? Hacerlo un poco más picante. Ahí, super. The next day, it was a beautiful day again. But it was clear that Choco didn't want to continue. So he decided to go down. Entonces, ¿cuál va a ser el plan que han platicado? Yo bajar. Bajar. ¿Y los demás? ¿Tú? Bueno. ¿Quieres subir o vamos a otra cosa? No sé, tú has venido ya dos veces aquí. No sé, para ti sería súper chulo subir hasta el cumbre, ¿no? 
si alguien se siente mal con una decisión del otro, vale, hablamos y decidimos otra cosa. Pero si tú fueras el que decidiera, ¿qué preferirías? ¿Que terminen o que se bajen? Que termine, que les gusta o que termine. Que termine. Super. Aquí, muy bien hecho. Muy bien hecho. Alex, nos vemos abajo. Nos vemos ahí. After the route, we all met again in the village, at the base of the wall. I could see that Choco, Peewee and Alex were really happy with the experience. And part of me was happy too. It was only afterwards that I realized that I needed to stop thinking about it in terms of success or pushing personal limits. Perhaps the goal that I had set myself, taking these young boys out of their comfort zone, was the result of myself always having a secure comfort zone. Not having to worry about having a roof over my head, food on the table or a safe neighborhood. My intention never was to become the foreign white guy who came into their lives with a saving solution. It was all about a learning experience. For Choco, it was maybe dealing with fear and pressure and defining what is really important for him in his life. For me, it was a realization that I started this project based on a lot of assumptions. We all face personal walls, and trying to see the world through different glasses can help us understand those walls. I hope that Escalando Fronteras will keep teaching the kids from Lomas Modelo how to climb the walls they face. Simple esa fue la magia.